Hello YouTube, welcome to iOS 26 on iPhone SE 2 launched way back in 2020. It still has the same A13 chip as iPhone 11 and 11 Pro but with 3 gigs of RAM. Luckily, it gets one more year of support while the iPhone XS and XR didn't make it with the previous chip. So, Apple finally got rid of the third generation iPhone SE which uh, I mean like uh, with the introduction of iPhone 16e and there is no home button enabled devices right now. So why am I doing this video now? Well this phone is aimed at people who prefer the home button UI and aren't willing to learn the new swipe gestures. It's like uh, you know if you want to use a cheaper secondary device for basic features and you want a smaller form factor because right now there is no small phone available and if you happen to be one using the iPhone SE 2 so do you want to see if it is still relevant in 2025 or 26 let's answer that but this time we didn't get any Apple intelligence features well anyhow nothing would come to the SE 2 so let's start so starting with the home screen first or the lock screen so let's uh, do it by setting up a wallpaper so here we have a beautiful lamborghini reveal too so let me go to this set as wallpaper so here what am i doing so let's see like all these new features like is it bug free and how it's working on the iphone se2 so there is no lag or anything like that so everything is butter smooth so even though the phone is like uh, it came uh, back like way back in five years ago so in 2020 this phone came and still it supports the latest and greatest from apple the ios 26 and everything works fluidly so right now i set the wallpaper so for both the lock screen and the home screen and i didn't face any glitches and wow it looks cool so Let's start with this Windows Vista. Uh, yeah, I'm kidding. So welcome to Liquid Glass. So everything like if you want a minimal interface, I mean like uh, not much uh, colorful or something like that, you can have this. So all glossy look, but uh, I like to add some colors. So let me uh, go back to this. Also, you can uh, switch back, uh, you can toggle dark mode. So dark mode also has this glassy effect. So it's both in the light and dark mode. And if you want to go clear, you can do that. And also you can go for the uh, tinted ones. So as you can see, when I'm applying all these UI uh, enhancements or the UI things, so there is no lag or there is no jitter or anything like that. So everything gets immediately applied and uh, like i didn't face any bugs or something even though this is the first beta of ios 26 so uh, so far it's going pretty good and also yeah like uh, with the previous thing we can also remove the text and have larger icons so the major redesign is for the camera stop me if you have already seen this and some guys would have leaked this before but now i am seeing it right on my arms and like it's really cool so all this glassy effect on camera so uh, it it breathes a fresh air or a modern look to the ui and everything is seamless so as it was before but yeah like with this newer glass theme like everything looks refreshed and that's what we are here for so let's go back to the settings as you can notice uh, now we have the colored icons with a minimal look and you'll notice the glass effect here mostly with the folder so as you can see the reveal to peeking in and out and also the mountain surroundings so inside that so let me open a folder for you so this is how translucent it looks pretty much like the windows vista i can't i can't stop that okay so this is how the clean minimalistic look feels and the glass effect so as you can see the iphone is also a piece of glass and also on this uh, glassy UI. So the interplay between the hardware and software as Apple or Steve Jobs mentioned is here in front of you. And 
right now let's just see the overall performance of the device so i'll open this yeah even the control center so this is how you open control center with the uh, phone with the home button from bottom so with the newer devices you'll open it from the right top end corner and even the volume rocker so you can see the glass effect over there so uh, let me do uh, let me open a couple of apps couple of simple apps so i have all these applications open and i have run few benchmarks which we can see at the end of the video and yeah so overall like can you use this phone as your daily driver i would say well the only drawback which you could face is the battery life and apart from that if you are not into much uh, media consumption or like uh, social media or something like that so if you use your phone as you intended like uh, mild photography or something like that and also for uh, call text and uh, all the basic stuff so you can go ahead with this i mean not get a new one but if you are using it and if you know your limits you can go with this so as you can see like uh, i'm going through multiple applications while i'm talking and uh, so let me open this game and uh, yeah i had played this before so it's asking me to resume okay my bad so let me okay uh, i think yeah like it uh, i mean this games it's a bit laggy i would say so as you can notice it's uh, trying hard but yeah it's fine like uh, this phone is not for gaming or something like that and again it has the a13 chip so yeah like i'm coming back to, into this messaging and all this basic stuff you can actually use this phone for so it's pretty good so let me see the battery life so this is one uh, sad part so this has a very small battery and i have been using this phone for over like four years now and it's in battery service so the percentage is around 74 percentage well you don't get any adaptive power more or something like that which you get with the uh, latest devices uh, but yeah that's fine and this is the only drawback of this particular device so now let's see uh, yeah like let's see if you have visual intelligence okay so it's not visual intelligence but yeah like say for example if you have uh, a photo like this and uh, there is some text with some date or something like that so you can click on this and obviously you can copy all this text or something like that so if you have a piece of code you can just copy the code and uh, ask chat gpt or yeah like if you have an invite you can just save it directly to your calendar so uh, it, it is pretty uh, intuitive and uh, this still works with uh, iphone se2 so that's uh, what uh, i would love and uh, yeah like uh, if you have the latest devices you can search for what car is that and all those things with the visual intelligence well even apple carplay got its glossy update and also now we get uh, widgets so if you have a long uh, carplay like bmw one so you get two widgets or if you have the squarish one you'll be getting a single widget and also like if you get a call so something like this so it will not cover the entire screen and you don't miss out on the maps or something like that so it just uh, comes like on your iphone right now so which is really cool and another nice feature that we had on the pixel is hold assist so right now that's there on even on the se2 so when we click on this hold assist so the when uh, someone puts your call on hold so you get notified right on the uh, screen so let me do a trial of that so right now uh, yeah like I, let me put this in speaker so you can hear with me so i'll go to this call and so I have put this call on hold. Let's see. Hello. The holding is done. One moment while I notify the caller. Yeah, that's how this feature works. And this is one of the uh, thing which I noticed. So here with the iPhone SE2, I am not able to see the background, the uh, messaging background, which they announced. But uh, yeah, like with the latest device, so I have it on my iPhone 15 Pro, I can see the background, but it's not showing up on the SE2. Maybe with the future software upgrades, it could be made fine. Now you saw me using the phone and also the UI, everything, but let's see some synthetic benchmark. Uh, this is the Geekbench 5. Uh, I don't have the 6 because 6 crashed out for CPU test. And with the CPU test, as you can notice, 
it has reduced from the previous uh, i mean the previous ios 18 uh, the average as you can see it's uh, 1300 and the uh, present one is lower so both the single and multi core scores are lower than the ios 18 so with ios 26 uh, the performance has gone down maybe this is because of the first beta so as you can see here we have the uh, geekbench 6 uh, gpu score so that has also got down a little bit so uh, like 10000 and uh, previously it was 12000 uh, with the ios 18 so maybe because this is the first developer beta and the coming uh, next upgrade should be able to increase the performance or at least maintain the same so there is a lot of visual overhaul so that could be the effect and here i'm running the antutu benchmark and as you can see we got the numbers here and here we can see all the cpu gpu memory and uh, everything so all these scores so how they stack up so uh, that's what we are here to find out so all these are numbers so uh, i mean like let's open all these things but again the thing that we are looking for is has it increased or decreased from the previous version of ios so as you can notice so all these uh, latest devices they have a pretty big number so let's see where is our iphone sc2 stands okay it stands over here so it's around uh, 542493 so uh, this is the score of this particular device so let's see how much it would have normally got so let me uh, see above so it's lesser than iphone 10s oh, okay so uh, yeah so as you can see the iphone sc2 normally it's 695 but it's reduced to 542 so that's because of the first developer beta and again like it won't be optimized for uh, these devices so they might have concentrated on the 16 15 and the latest ones so once these devices get optimized so we should see somewhere uh, close to how it was before or yeah maybe even sometime lower also so maybe this is the last upgrade which the iphone se2 is going to get but at least we are getting a software upgrade like for like five years so i mean the major software upgrade so hats off for apple for that and finally to the conclusion should you get the iphone se2 no should you get the 2022 iphone se3 again a no because the battery life is pretty worse and even if you're going for this uh, home button based ui so you are, you are missing out on so many other th things so it's better to uh, go for the iphone 16e if you're uh, looking for a budget device or if you can increase your budget you can also go for the iphone 16 and if you want a promotion the only the pro the uh, even you can go for the 15 pro but the battery life i would say isn't as good so it's better to go for the 16 pro or yeah so if you waited till now this is june so with september and the public release of uh, this ios 26 we'll be getting the iphone 17 series so hope they get the promotion display with the basic iphone 17 and the 17 slim so that would make the deal better so that's what uh, my suggestion would be and one last thing how to install this ios 26 beta on your device so go to software updates so then you you will be able to see this beta updates over here so it's turned off right now so once you click on this you'll get an option called ios 26 developer beta so once you click on that then you'll be enrolled to uh, the beta software downloads so then if you search for software updates so it will check for update and boom you got the ios 26 beta right there so this will not appear if you are not a registered developer so here are the steps so you can take a pause and uh, do these steps so once you do this you'll be able to see the ios 26 developer beta on your device so and so then it gets downloaded so it will probably take uh, depending on the internet speed and once it's updated so all your data would be there but yeah like to be safe you can back up your data so that you don't lose your data and that's how you update your device to ios 26 so that's all i had in this video thank you for watching subscribe for more videos like this and as always stay safe and peace